Hi, it's Mark Kaufman, Anthology's Senior Partner Software Engineer on the Developer Relations and Standards team. And today I'm making this video to discuss uh, the deep linking response. And sometimes we'll get questions like, how many items can I send back in my deep linking response to learn? Or what's the kind of error will I get? Uh, usually you'll get a 400 error if, if learn can't process the response. That's because it it's just saying the page is not available. Um, but so here here we go. We we published this tool, this uh, node. It's written in Node.js, and you can use this tool to easily do some experimentation yourself with Learn and see um, how it behaves. So, like what I'm doing here is I've installed the tool on this system under LTI Tool Providers. This is an LTI 1.3 tool. I'm using this. Um, domain to test it and I've registered it on the developer portal you can see it's an LTI 1.3 tool it's got this client ID and so on and so forth and so if I go to my managed placements you'll see that I've got a deep link requests defined and it goes to the tools uh, deep link request uh, URL and also I want to show you real quick um, one thing about the tool here. Another thing that we'll often get questions about is you'll see that the tool <coughs> the tool redirect URL is only the redirect URL that is for the uh, login initiation request for OIDC. It, it, you see it doesn't have that deep link options in there at all. You don't need that. Um, this this is the URL used for the redirect URL for the OIDC login. And that's the only thing it should be used for. Um, the rest of it is done using the LTI 1.3 standard. So we have people who think they need to register every URL that they launch to here, and that's not the case. You shouldn't. You should design your tool so that you don't have to do that. You're not using the tool redirect URL to determine your um, final destination. Uh, that's not what that's not what it's there for. Uh, that was a little sidetrack, uh, but it's important. So now let me go back to my course and now this is really sweet. When we use the tool, we can go to content market and we'll just launch the deep link request. So here we are on the deep link. Uh, payload options page of the tool and I can do custom JSON and uh, if I just send this JSON back uh, it will create this content in the um, tool now this URL is not it's not valid um, because it contains um, A URL for a different tool so we would need to modify this for our tool so it's actually easier instead of building a payload or building custom date JSON it's easier to do something like oh we'll just send back say 60 links right now we're just going to hit submit And you can see here it's crafted the URL for the tool that we are using. Now it's automatically done that. And now I can just hit return deep linking. And voila, Learn has processed the request and we've got 60 content items on the page. So we can see that Learn can do uh, at least 60 items. Um, it's taking a while to load them as I scroll down but they're all there so thank you for watching this is how you can experiment with learn using our uh, our github repository to stand up a, a node tool that can make um, be used as a tool in conjunction with blackboard learn to do do this sort of testing thank you for watching